you know what? Sometimes life just sucks. It's true, sometimes life sucks. And guess what? It's okay. Today we are such an instant gratification society. Everything should be done now so that we feel good now. Well, guess what? That creates so many people who push through the bad things. Now, getting through something that is a rough time for you is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. But you can't just bury those feelings and pretend that you're happy. You need to allow yourself the time to grieve, to wallow, to be angry, to be sad. These are all emotions that in today's society you go, oh, shh. no, 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 we're fine. No, it's cool, it's cool, we're cool. Everything's cool, man. Don't worry about it. Wrong, wrong. It's not cool. Address those feelings. It's okay. It's okay to cry. Okay, it's okay to cry. It's okay to be upset. You need to focus and look at those emotions. Deal with them. When something happens, you need to make sure that you address the issues. Because you can never move forward if you just bury them. You need to look at it and inspect it and just be one with that emotion. We are so programmed that everything needs to be positive and happy and sunshine and rainbows and lollipops and unicorns and yeah, that's great. Once you have dealt with what you are looking at, whatever issue it is, you have to look at it. And if it's something that's too big for you to take on yourself, go see a counselor, go see a social worker, go talk to somebody, your best friend. It doesn't have to be a professional. You go see somebody, talk to somebody, because you gotta address the icky stuff in order to get on to the good stuff. My MS has been kind of running rampant. The past couple of months I've been in extreme pain, and extreme is kind of a downplayed word <laughs> compared to where it's been. Um, luckily I am started some new medication, so I'm feeling better, knock on wood, but, I did have several days where I was just like, you know what? It sucks. And I cried. I cried. I sobbed. Why? And it was okay. It was good to do that. It's cathartic. I love that word. It's just fun to say too. But to release that, because a lot of people think, well, you've had MS since 99. You should be used to it by now. No, no, no. I will never be used to it. And that's okay. There are some things, the minor things, yeah, I'm used to. It's like, oh yeah, whatever, that's cool. When you are hurting emotionally, for me it was physically, but if you're hurting emotionally too, you can't just ignore it. You can't just stuff it down. It doesn't work well. Things don't work out well when you do that. So basically the moral of the story is, guys, if you have something going on, please just embrace it. Don't hide from it. Don't think that, oh, well, you know, society says that we should all be happy and, and that being angry is wrong and crying is wrong. And No, it's baloney. Since this is a family show, that's the word I'm going to use is baloney. You have to feel, okay, you have to deal with it. So if you were going to, you know, woe is meville and wallow city, you're going to go there. Make sure you make it just a visit. You don't want to take up residence there. Okay. But also take your time. Take your time. Some people can get through things quickly. I don't know why. Other people take some longer to process. It's okay. There is never any right thing like, oh, if somebody dies, you should be over them in, you know, three months or six months. You shouldn't be sad anymore after. No, there is no magic number. And that, again, is our society. We want the magic pill. We want to know, okay, if I'm going to lose weight on this program, when? How much am I going to lose? 
when am I going to lose it? We want to know numbers. We want details. Healing is not fall into that category at all. Healing is on your own time. Each one of us has our own time frame that is correct. Okay, so if you have a friend or a family member or somebody who's going through something and you're thinking, they should totally be over this by now, instead of saying, you should totally be over this by now, try asking, what do you need from me? How can I help? How may I serve? And sometimes they don't want advice. They don't want and you to say a word. They just want you to sit with them. They just want to talk to you about normal life, you know, going shopping or doing mundane things. Be there for each other. And make sure that if you're going through something, you allow yourself the chance to heal before you move on to happy fun time. Because I had gone through it, I had several days where I was just like, nah, I ain't gonna be happy. Mm -mm. Nope, life sucks. I knew I wasn't gonna stay there. I knew that I wasn't gonna permanently change my attitude, but I needed that. I needed to just acknowledge that what I was going through with my body and, and with the pain and, and all of that, to acknowledge it and say, yeah, you know what? This is pretty crummy. Yeah, and it's okay. And I cried and I got over it and I moved on. And now I'm, I'm incredibly even more thankful for feeling better than if I would have just stifled it down and tried to move on. I felt like this was something that I needed to put out there. We've had people either commenting or messaging and uh, going through some difficult times. I reply to all of them. I love when you guys comment and if you ask for advice, I'm like, yay! <laughs> I do totally get excited. And I usually you do a long-winded reply because that's just how I am. But it just seemed like this was something that needed to be said for not only our viewers, but just for everyone. Starting off this new year, let's make it a good new year. Focus on what we need to take care of, clean house, both literally and figuratively, and make 2017 a friggin' awesome year. That's what I'm saying. That's my goal. If you made it to the end of the video, guys, thank you so much. We love you guys so much. Thank you. Um, oh, please put in the comments below if you feel like sharing. You don't have to. But if you feel like sharing, put in the comments below something that either you're going through now or something that you've gone through. It doesn't have to be recent, but something that you've gone through. And what helped you the most? Was it just curling up by the fire and drinking hot chocolate and just crying? Was it listening to a super sad song? Was it listening to a really upbeat, positive song? Was it doing absolutely nothing and just laying in bed for three days? I don't know who would have done that recently. Well, thank you so much. Again, if you are not a subscriber, please, please, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. We'd love to have you guys here with us and part of our uncensored family. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Also put in the comments if there are other topics you want us to talk about. So as always guys, three, the big magic three, or three, see I can't with the MS, it's hard for me to grip that finger. That's why I always do three like this. Plus it's three in sign language, just saying. Three things every day. In the morning, before you even get out of bed, when you wake up, say three things you're thankful for. And then before you go to sleep, say another three things you're thankful for. Always be thankful, guys. Great way to start and end your day. Let your inner child come out and play. My goal for 2017 is to have more of the F word in my life. Fun. You thought I was going to say something else. This is a family show. Come on. Fun. Fun. There's one thing that, like, I enjoy things, but there's not a lot where I'm like, woo! Fun. More fun in my life for 2017. Finally, share your story, guys. Put your story out there. Tell people. If you've been through something and you've survived, you're a thriver. You don't just survive, you thrive. Share your story with people. It helps so much. It helps you. You feel better because you helped somebody and somebody else feels better because they were helped and it's awesome. So get out there, share your story and live your life completely uncensored.